Yesterday, I told you how the province is postponing most cancer surgeries, and I've heard so many heartbreaking messages from patients who are understandably very scared. Kara Heitman was supposed to have her surgery for breast cancer this Monday. Now she's in limbo. Without question, I'm angry. Without question, I'm scared. I have no idea what this means for my prognosis. I don't know if the cancer is going to spread. I don't know anything. I don't know what this means for my life. My surgery was scheduled to happen in three days, so why was it cancelled? Um, I don't know the ins and outs of our medical system. I don't run it, but I do know that this is life-saving surgery. The stress is enormous. I think, and part of that stress is we're powerless. What do we get to do about it? Do we get to say that's not fair? We can, we can yell it from the rooftops, but I'm not sure anything's going to change. That's, it's terrifying. I'm not sure at this point, taking people that are, that are living with cancer, if I'm a priority case, obviously my life is probably at risk. Canceling that to prepare to care for other people whose lives are at risk, it doesn't make sense. How do you weigh out whose life is more important? Um, and it kind of, somebody said to me, one of my friends, when I told them, it sounds like they're trading one life for another. And that's, that's really hard to swallow. I asked both Premier Doug Ford and Health Minister Christine Elliott about this today to try and get more information from patients. Here's what they had to say. How long will these postponements last? We are taking into consideration the uh, personal health situation of each and every person. And if it is uh, life-threatening, they will, of course, get the surgery that they need. But I do want to stress that this is something that we take into consideration with each and every patient with the assistance of Cancer Care Ontario, who developed a pandemic plan years ago, and they're uh, putting this plan into action now. It's, it's heartbreaking even hearing uh, the stories. I don't have to tell people I lost three close loved family members, my mother, my brother and my father on cancer. And I, you know, something I, I understand the, the pain and the the agony they're, they're, they're going through in their hearts and, and their family members concerned. But my heart heart breaks for them uh, and the pain, uh, the uncertainty. Another thing we learned today at that news conference, there is an ethicist at the COVID-19 command center to help guide doctors who face difficult decisions. In Italy, for example, there aren't enough ventilators for all and doctors have to make the critical and heart-wrenching decision on who gets one and who gets to live and who doesn't. The health minister though insists that there will be enough in Ontario. They are asking companies to step up and help make them.